Since our childhood, we have been used to the decadal system of numbers to represent numbers. We are also used to the symbols of the 10 digits of the Arabic numerals. That means the symbols for the digits 0 to 9. But you may know that there exist other ways of representing numbers, apart from the decadal numeral system. For example, when considering computers, it makes sense to represent numbers using the binary system. The hexadecimal number system is pretty popular too. If we met an alien, it would be likely that the alien represents numbers in a different way we do. It could happen that it doesn't use the base 10 numeral system we are used to. Because the symbols for our digits, that means the symbols for the digits 0 to 9, were created on Earth, it is also likely that an alien uses its own digit symbols for representing numbers, according to some numeral system. The goal of this video will be to create our own alien numbers. That means, instead of using the decadal number system, we will write down numbers using a base 5 numeral system. Furthermore, we will introduce new alien symbols for the digits of that numeral system. In the end, I will show you an approach to add up two of these alien numbers. But first of all, we have to understand our usual decadal number system a little better. That means we have to understand how our numbers are represented. In the decadal system, a natural number n is represented the following way. The number n is written as the following sum. So capital N is equal to Cn times 10 to the power of n plus Cn minus 1 times 10 to the power of n minus 1 plus and so on plus c1 times 10 to the power of 1 plus c0 times 10 to the power of 0. These coefficients here cn to c0 are all in the set 0, 1 to 9. That means the coefficients cn to c0 will be the digits of the number capital N. The number capital N is then written down as a sequence of its coefficients or digits cn to c0. So capital N is represented as the following sequence of its digits cn to c0. Capital N is equal to cn, cn minus 1 and so on until c1, c0. So capital N is represented as the following sequence of its digits cn to c0. This will become clearer when we take a look at an example. So let's assume capital N is equal to 42. We write capital N as the following sum. Capital N is equal to 4 times 10 to the power of 1 plus 2 times 10 to the power of 0. Now that here is c1 and that here is c0. Now capital N is represented by its digits c1 and c0. So capital N is equal to c1, c0 which is equal to 4 and 2. As I said before, 
we are very used to the decadal numeral system, even to the point that we identify numbers by that representation. But we will see soon that there are many other ways to represent natural numbers. Let's take a look at the base p or p array representation of numbers. So let p be a natural number that is larger than 1. Then in the so called base p numeral system, or p array numeral system, a natural number capital N is represented the following way. The number capital N is written as the following sum. Capital N is equal to cn times p to the power of n plus cn minus 1 times p to the power of n minus 1 plus and so on plus c1 times p to the power of 1 plus c0 times p to the power of 0. The coefficients cn to c0 are elements of the set of digits 0, 1 to p minus 1. That means in the p array system, we have p digits 0, 1 to p minus 1. The natural number capital N is then written down as the sequence of its digits cn to c0. So the number capital N is represented as the sequence of its digits cn to c0, like that. Capital N is equal to cn, cn minus 1, and so on until c1 to c0. The representation is often denoted like that. We write this here in brackets, and here is the number p as an index to emphasize a p array system is used to represent the number capital N. For example, if we set p is equal to 10, we have the decadal system. If we have p is equal to 2, we call it the binary numeral system. And if we set p is equal to 16, it's the hexadecimal number system. OK, we will now start to create our alien numbers. As I said before, we will use a base 5 numeral system to write down the alien numbers. That means natural numbers capital N are written as the following sum. Cn times 5 to the power of n plus cn minus 1 times 5 to the power of n minus 1 plus and so on plus c1 times 5 to the power of 1 plus c0 times 5 to the power of 0. The alien digits cn to c0 are elements of the set 0, 1 to 4. That means the aliens use 5 digits to write down their numbers 0, 1 to 4. The number capital N is then written down as the following digit sequence. Capital N is equal to cn to c0. Let's try this out with the number capital N is equal to 42. The number 42 is equal to the following sum. Capital N, which is equal to 42, is equal to 1 times 5 squared plus 3 times 5 plus 2 times 
5 to the power of 0. Now, that here is C2, that here C1, and that here C0. That means the base 5 representation of capital N is equal to C2, C1, C0, which is equal to 1, 3, 2. But we have one small problem now. As I said before, it is very unlikely that an alien will use the symbols of our Arabic digits to write down numbers. Or in other words, an alien won't use the symbols for the digits 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 we are used to. To solve that problem, we will now introduce symbols for our new alien digits. That means we will assign new symbols to the digits 0 to 4. For the digit 0, we will use this new alien symbol here. For 1, that symbol. For 2, that symbol. For 3, this symbol. And for the digit 4, that symbol here. So these are our new alien digits. If we use these new symbols to write down the number 42, we get the following alien representation of 42. So we have already seen that the base 5 representation of 42 looks like that. 1, 3, 2. And if we use our new alien symbols or alien digits to write down 42, we get the following alien representation of 42. So 1 is this symbol, 3 is that symbol, and 2 is that symbol here. Let's do the same for the number capital N is equal to 49 now. So 49 can be written as the following sum. 49 is equal to 1 times 5 squared plus 4 times 5 plus 4 times 5 to the power of 0. That means if we use Arabic digits, the base 5 representation of 49 looks like that. 1, 4 and 4. And if we use our new alien digits, we get the following representation of 49. So 1 is this symbol here and 4 is that symbol here. So this here is the alien representation of 49. And that here is the alien representation of 42. Let's do some basic calculations with our alien numbers now. I'm pretty sure you already know the approach to sum up numbers in the decadal system. We learned that in school. Let's assume you want to calculate 42 plus 49. In the decadal system you do the following. You add up 
the first two digits and if the result is smaller than 10 you just write down the digit and go on to the next calculation step. But if the result is larger or equal to 10 you subtract 10 from the result and write down the digit. But in the next calculation step you have to add plus 1 to your result. And so on. I think you know this approach from school. So in our case 9 plus 2 is 11, which is larger than 10. So we write down 1. Then we calculate 4 plus 4, which is 8. We have to add plus 1 to that result because of the last step. So we get 9. We will now use a similar approach to add up alien numbers. So let's assume you want to add up the alien representation of the numbers 42 and 49. Similar to the approach in the decadal system, we can add up the alien digits. In case that the result is smaller than 5, we just write down the digit and go on to the next step. But in case that in one step we get the result larger or equal to 5, we have to subtract 5 from that result and add plus 1 to the result in the next step. That works out because we are using a base 5 representation of our numbers. First, we have to add these two alien digits, which results in 6. So this here is the symbol for 2 and that here is the symbol for 4 and 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. The alien representation of 6 is equal to that here. And because this result is larger than 5 we have to write down the digit on the right and in the next step we will add plus 1 to our result. Ok, we go on to the next digits and add them. So this here is the symbol for 3 and that here is the symbol for 4. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. The alien representation of 7 is that here. Because of the previous step we have to add plus 1 to that result. So we get 8 or that here in alien representation. Because this result is larger or equal to 5 we have to write down the digit on the right and in the next step we will add plus 1 to our result again. Ok, in the last step we add these digits here, which results in 2. This here is the symbol for 1, so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. The alien symbol for 2 is that symbol here. Because of the step before, we have to add plus 1 again. So we get 3. That means we have to write down the alien symbol for 3. So in the end, we get the following alien number as a result. That alien number here is the alien representation of the number 91. Ok, if you liked this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. That would help and motivate me to keep creating videos.